Are you having problems with your Shopify inventory not being tracked and you want to be able to fix it? Well, then this video is going to be perfect for you because in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to fix this issue. So what you're going to do firstly is to go into Shopify and then log into your Shopify account. And now you should be taken to this page right here, as you can see. And now what you're going to do on this page is to click where it says products, sorry, products right here, as you can see. And in here, you will be able to see all the products that you currently have connected to your Shopify store. So you're going to now select the product that you are having problems with. And by the way, you can do this one by one after like after you're done with this specific product as well, just so you know. But in here, what you're going to do, you're going to scroll down and in here, you're going to enable where it says track quantity. Some of you might already have this uh, enabled, by the way. And if it still is not working, then don't worry. I'm going to show you why it's not working for you. So quite often you might have track quantity in here and it's still for some reason it's not working. Well, what you're going to do in here, you're going to click on available right here, as you can see. And then what you're going to do, you're going to adjust this one. So for example, let's say that uh, for this specific product, I have three items, right? So I'm just going to adjust this by three, then I'm going to click on save. So right now I have this one, uh, three of this one available on hand three. So as fast as I've actually, oh, of course, don't forget to save by the way. Uh, so that I don't forget as well. So basically what will happen now is that this specific product is now tracked. So the inventory for this specific product is now tracked. So if somebody now buys this product, it's going to say two in here. And then if they buy, let's say two more after that, then it's going to be zero in here because this one is now tracked and you can manually change it how you want in here basically. And if you click on products here once again, you can just do this one by one for the products that you want to be able to actually change. And that is basically exactly how to do this.